Agamazing! This is Surbass of Surbass TV. In our last video, we were able to define motion and describe it using the concepts of speed and velocity. In this video, we are going to describe it using the concepts of acceleration. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment hashtag AdHamazing. Let's go! In reality, objects do not always move at a constant velocity. Objects do change their speed, directions, or both. When objects change their speed or velocity, they are said to be accelerating. Acceleration refers to the rate of change in speed or velocity of an object. It gives us an idea how quick an object speeds up or slows down. But how and when can we say that an object is accelerating? An object is said to be accelerating if it does any of the following. Number one, change of speed. For example, a cyclist is traveling with a speed from 60 km per hour to 40 km per hour. Number two, change of direction. For example, a dog is running 3 meter per second east, then 3 meter per second north. And number three, change of speed and direction or velocity. For example, a man is running 5 meter per second east, then 10 meter per second south. An increase in speed or velocity is called a positive acceleration. On the other hand, a decrease in speed or velocity is called deceleration. This means that acceleration does not always mean an increase in an object's speed or velocity. Acceleration can be determined using the formula average acceleration is equal to the change in velocity divided by the time to make this change. The SI unit for acceleration is meter per second squared. Let us try to solve this problem. A car accelerates from rest to 24 meter per second in 6 seconds. What is its average acceleration? To solve this, let us write all the given data. First is the initial velocity. Since it was mentioned in the problem that the car accelerated from rest, this means that the initial velocity is 0 meter per second. The final velocity is 24 meter per second, and the time is 6 seconds. Our main goal is to find the average acceleration. To find this, we will use the formula average acceleration is equal to the change in velocity divided by the time. To get the change in velocity, we will just subtract the final velocity from the initial velocity. 24 meter per second minus 0 meter per second is equals to 24 meter per second. Thus, the change in velocity is 24 meters per second. Let us now substitute the given on our formula. Average acceleration is equals to the value of change in velocity which is 24 meter per second divided by the value of time which is 6 seconds. Therefore, the average acceleration of the car is 4 meters per second squared. And that ends our discussion on acceleration. In this video, we were able to describe motion by answering how fast is the velocity of the object is changing using the concepts of acceleration. I hope you learned something in this learning journey. See you on our next science lesson. Ad amazing!